So in episode 83 of Dragon Ball Super, there was one particular line that led to a lot of discussion, and that's regarding the fact that there are 28 planets in Universe 7 that have life. Outside of that, pretty much you're fucked, you're not going to be able to find any fighters or anything like that. There's only 28 planets planets with the kind of you know humanoid life form so to speak ningen you know mortals or whatever and that got me thinking for starters whose fault is that because you got to look at it in this perspective i mean the gods of destruction themselves exactly what is their purpose you got to look at it like okay beerus's job is essentially to destroy what he seems and deems fit to destroy now could beerus have been one of the catalysts to a lot of the destruction of the universe i mean granted there's many different things and we'll talk about in a second that were responsible for a lot of planets being lost and stuff like that but beerus was he doing his job responsibly i mean at the end of the day you gotta look at it like this him sleeping and the amount of sleep that this guy takes is i mean ridiculous and the entirety of dragon ball z this dude was having a, a cheeky little nap so already he was ignoring his responsibilities but when he was destroying planets for example he went to earth he went to destroy it and while goku and vegeta were formidable fighters or whatever he was still going to destroy it until goku gave him that amazing fight and going super saiyan god mode and things of that nature so in one regard you got to look at it okay in the end beerus didn't destroy it because he deemed goku to be worthy and essentially wanted to fight him again someday and overall he was impressed with his power so he didn't destroy it but up until that point of him having that incredible fight and goku reaching that mode that you know beerus had a dream about he was going to destroy a planet which is probably the strongest planet in all of universe 7 is that a responsible thing to do considering the fact that you need to keep your balance and again the mortal ranking is many different factors it's not completely strength i do think that strength is somewhat of a factor but it's not the whole thing i think the quality of life has been mentioned multiple times or whatever but strength is a factor in there and overall again when we have circumstances like this that could come about someday where you need the strongest fighters you can possibly get yeah it's definitely a, a priority something very important and beerus was going to get rid of planet earth just like that which i mean let's just say we would have had this tournament anyways he would have been absolutely screwed because everybody that is worth something is on this planet i mean we see the lineup for the tournament of power and every character in the lineup there's no fresh characters that we haven't seen yet i mean granted we don't know what could happen in between now and the tournament of power maybe initially you know tien or krillin or something were going to be one of the contestants and then eventually you know supreme kai as he's traveling through those 28 planets find somebody that could be a replacement so there's still that possibility out there that something like that could happen but nevertheless i mean beerus i think failed in a certain point or to a certain point with his job of you know securing what are you know sane people and decent people but also powerful people i mean we even see in the beginning of super he was destroying planets because oh you you, you didn't have what i wanted the type of food i had i mean he was even going to destroy planet vegeta and if i'm not mistaken he was indirectly responsible for the destruction of planet vegeta and those were some incredible fighters some of the strongest i mean even the episode episode 83 of dragon ball super supreme kai mentioned yeah planet vegeta being destroyed was a big blow to the power of universe 7 and on top of that having frieza because if frieza was still around i think he would have been forced like holy shit if i don't participate in this tournament i'm going to go and get myself killed so yeah probably i should uh jump in this so frieza's death as well was a big blow to universe 7's you know power and ranking overall as a whole even though he was a disgusting piece of shit and then we got to look at some of the people responsible again besides Beerus I mean Frieza what he was doing having you know the Saiyans destroying planets and taking them over and killing everybody on there Frieza was a factor I think the villains that we've had to deal with which I'm assuming a lot of other places like Universe 11 for example really haven't had to deal with the villains that we've had to deal with because if they're looking at Goku as like he's this big villain even though it is somewhat of a misunderstanding you haven't dealt with some villains okay you haven't dealt with people like Seth people like kid boo you haven't deal with that because that is a true villain those are just straight up evil people goku he's trying to shake your hand he's an idiot but nevertheless he still has good intentions so i think the other universes just haven't had to deal with 
the problems that we've had to deal with. I think Majin Buu and Kid Buu in particular is one of the major culprits responsible for crippling the level of power that we have at our disposal for Universe 7 because if you remember correctly, he was going from planet to planet looking for power levels and blowing them up if they weren't, you know, up to what he sees fit, so to speak. So, in essence, Kid Buu really fucked us over big time as well because there could have been some decently strong fighters. Now, obviously, if they died at the hands of Kid Buu at the time, then they probably weren't that much. They, you know, they really weren't capable fighters, but nevertheless, they could have been something better than, I mean, what we have right now. Don't get me wrong. Krillin is awesome. He's pretty much the strongest earthling. I believe he's been confirmed to be the strongest earthling full-on human, but we could have had somebody even stronger than that. We could have had somebody stronger than Roshi. Roshi is a great, and I've said this in multiple videos now, he's an awesome, hilarious character to have, but I'm sure there are people that are way stronger and have the experience to back them up than Roshi, or at the very least, there was somebody in the universe that could have taken Roshi's place, because in essence, we're going, it's planet Earth's fighters versus all the other universal fighters, because I'm sure, you know, all the universal fighters that they have at their disposal, like Universe 11 and so on and so forth, they're not not just gathering fighters from one planet so i think again a big combination is the other universes haven't had to deal with the villains that we had to deal with on top of that of course the kai supreme kai if he would have been able to execute what he should have done back in the day and get rid of majin buu of course he was too weak to do so which is kind of why i always in a way have to respect go Wasp for what he was trying to accomplish even though he picked a terrible piece of shit that turned out horrible like zamas but he wanted somebody at the same time that had strength that could can deal with the problems that they need to deal with because you know Zarmus would have been a f more formidable at the very least than Supreme Kai fighter to take on a problem such as Majin Buu now I don't know if he would have been able to you know to that extent really take out Majin Buu but nevertheless that was a really good idea Supreme Kai was too weak you know what I'm saying all the Supreme Kai's at that time which is a whole other discussion in of itself why there were so many Supreme Kai at the time you know Dai Kaio and all those Kai's or whatever but nevertheless that is an interesting discussion and I guess really quickly while it's on my mind I'm kind of curious if when you die and you go to heaven, are all the universe fighters there with King Yemma? Or is heaven separated in sections depending on different universes? That's something that's kind of interesting as well. I mean, they did dive into that Frieza was on Earth's hell when he went to King Yemma and then went down. So maybe it's just different from planet to planet. I don't know. It's kind of interesting discussion nonetheless and overall i feel as though the gods themselves of universe 7 is what let us down i mean granted we have some great fighters again we have goku we have vegeta we have the androids we have some people that are capable of you know kicking some ass but nevertheless i feel as though people like the supreme kai and even beerus to an extent i i mean like some of the planets that beerus destroyed in the past including again being indirectly responsible for planet vegeta that's his fault, <laughs> and they kind of screwed us up in a way because of that, I mean, I'm sure one of the top Saiyans, you know, especially if they would have been able to live long and prosper and kind of get to the point where our Saiyans, like Goku and Vegeta, or even, you know, the kids, Goten and Trunks are, they could have probably been way more of a formidable fighter, and we would have advanced and evolved to the point where they can achieve Super Saiyan status, I mean, even though it's not canon, you've seen Bardock did it when he went to the past and stuff like that, so that always was a possibility as well as they evolved and grew and got stronger they could have been better than what we have at our disposal now so it almost seems as though the gods let universe 7 down and i'm definitely curious what you guys think about this discussion for starters do you think that beerus is majorly or mostly responsible for the crisis that we have on our hands now the fact that there's only 28 planets with life that you know is usable for us at this point that is kind of you know able to find some sort of fighter on there do you think that him sleeping was a big factor i mean if he was awake he would have been able to stop majin buu he would have been able to stop a lot of the problems that we had also i mean he probably made some terrible decisions right i mean if he was going to get rid of planet earth killing goku vegeta you know goten and trunks piccolo and every Everybody involved that is strong when this tournament came about you know i mean obviously it was goku's idea but if there was some sort of factor like this even without goku's idea what he would have done he, he i mean Mo monaka ain't a real fighter now you know what i'm saying or do you think maybe it's more so to blame with the supreme kai that he was too weak he wasn't like you know he didn't have the power like zamas even though zamas wasn't the most strongest nevertheless he wasn't a fighter he wasn't capable of stopping majin buu which i do attribute a lot of the fact that we only have 28 planets with living life capable of fighting and 
stuff like that because of Kid Boo's destruction and, you know, throughout the years and generally even before so that he just destroyed and annihilated things. Like, you know, I think the Supreme Kai has a bit of responsibility as well. Any overall thoughts of all this? It kind of blew my mind a bit and I'm sure there's some contradictions in there or another of like, you know, there probably is tons of more planets out there, but this is Dragon Ball Super. They make so many different mistakes here and there, so you just gotta kind of roll with it, you know what I'm saying? Any overall thoughts of all this? Either way, interesting discussion and I'm kind of looking forward to what you guys think regarding the 28 planets that remain with life. Who's to blame with all this chaos that we have? Is it Beerus, the Supreme Kai, or even someone else? And also, I guess, to throw in there as well, do you think that hell and heaven is sectionized or compartmentized depending on different universes or different planets? Like, because there's a possibility when Goku was in other world that shouldn't he have been able to see people from other universes being there as well? Or do they have a different heaven altogether, different King Yemma or something like that? But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoy the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm for the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day.